Hey everyone, welcome to CVGS, Brendan here, and today I'll be bringing to you the deck profile for our Basavgra Narukami Premium deck. So this was the list that I kind of put together after testing on Friday. If you guys want to check that stream out, you can go to the link in the description. So I'll be starting to do a little bit more on the deck profiles for um, Vanguard stuff, especially, you know, uh, decks that I tried on Friday because, you know, if a deck works, viewers will want to see it, right? So here we are. First, we have our 4 Basavgra as our main vanguard because, of course, we want to ride into her, so 4 copies is natural. Uh, being able to persona ride in premium is also uh, very useful because the front row helps you overcome certain things. Uh, it's also great that because Narukami conveniently has stun verse, we can use Basavgra's fullest potential in this deck. Uh, we also have the uh, two copies of our Eradicator Voting Slot. Yes. Uh, because he is a very decent alternate vanguard, and also if you ride over him, he calls himself to the side, so it kind of helps in that extent. Uh, he becomes another attacker, he gives you draws, so I don't see why we shouldn't run him. Uh, except the markers. Markers are just great in this format. Uh, we also run three copies of the Heal Guardian because one of the other Heal Guardian, I'm trying to make this a habit, to start running one copy of the uh, Counter Charger uh, Heal Guardian simply because uh, there are situations where the Great Tree Heal Guardian only works for like the first few turns, uh, but you kind of want to see it early in premium just in case you don't want to get rushed. So yeah, three copies of that. And for the arm cards, we are running three copies of the spear and three copies of the gun. The reason because uh, we want to be able to double double equip Basavgra as quickly as possible, so we need the spear to bring out the gun. Uh, the reason why we're not playing the shield or the sword is because uh, dealing one damage by counter blast two if the attack like didn't hit kind of feels a bit underwhelming. I rather would want to see the one drive. And even if I don't have the gun, the spear will give me always 10k. It's similar to uh, the sword in a sense if I don't pay the cost. However, this, the spear lets me do the double equip, but the sword cannot. Uh, the shield is great as a defensive, but it I kind of don't want to like have the situation where I have to uh, de-equip my, my shield. So I'd rather just go full offense and have more drive checks. Uh, especially since we're running the uh, DE over trigger. Did I forget to put the DE over trigger in here? It seems I might have forgotten, but yeah, by right, it should be in here. Uh, so, yeah, it will probably be replaced by either one of the great, probably one of the great ones, but yeah. Okay, so for our great tools, we have four copies of Zuitan, uh, and three, and four copies of the new promo great two, the one that binds one card from your, you and your opponent's hand, and both of you draw. The reason why we want this, uh, is because we want the consistency of draws, basically. Um... Uh, and along with the one copy of the dude that can spawn himself when he's bound from hand. The, the good thing is that he can be spawned when bound from hand. So that's, it kind of synergizes well with our uh, our great two that can bind one card from our hand. So it is pretty fine that we have that. Uh, it, he also works as a defensive because uh, he can get um, power or shield equiv uh, equivalent to like great multiply by 5k or something. So yeah, that's that's what I adjusted with this list and I think it's pretty good. Uh, also because we don't want to sit on an 8k grid too, because that kind of sucks. Uh, we might change one of the... We might play a 3-3-3 lineup eventually, because we are at 9 grade 2. Uh, and then 3 of it will be the 12k grid too, because uh, being at 12k means you can't uh, get rushed as easily without your opponent committing to the board. And if they commit to the board, that means your Basavgra and your uh, Stumbers are going to have a field day to blow up the whole field. So that's where you want to be. Uh, for great ones, we have four Anastasia, the Thunderstrike one. So if your opponent has four more bound cards, uh, you can draw a card after using this. So it's a really uh, solid card to have, especially because we want to be drawing. <laughs> we want to draw. We need the resource. And we have our great researchers and our four uh, Eradicator, th uh, four of the Eradicator great one that on attack hits, you can uh, bind one from your opponent's drop. If you don't bind, you draw... Uh, if you don't bind, you draw. Again, I'm pretty certain this was in here for draw source and a lot more control. Uh, it gives you soul, which, which kind of helps when Basavgra somehow gets low. 
because we are not like in D where we are constantly equipping. So Soul may be a bit restricted uh, and not as free flow as in D, but it still works. Uh, and we also have three copies of the stand trigger. This stand trigger is actually uh, a pretty interesting tech choice because um, we are not entirely a rearguard centric deck, so our rearguards don't really get big. However, we do have copies of our voltage, uh, our uh, Vanquisher voltage and VMAX. So yeah, that that's that's why she's in here because you can use the strides to make use of her, put her back in the deck, you know, get some multi attack in, uh, through the drive checks. Yeah, so uh, she's probably gonna get cut to like two, uh, because I need to fit the over trigger. So yeah, that's that. Or oh, am I tripping? No, she doesn't need to get cut. I, I need to cut another card for uh over trigger. So yeah. Um we have the one trick moon. Uh simply because he can be revived off the Sagara and you can get counter charge, which is great. Because this deck kinda eats a bit of counter blast with your gun if you're not careful. So you need to we we need to have that you know security if it have it ever needed to. Because impede is gonna like eat a lot of counter blasts as well. We run the two impedes as per usual. Uh then the rest of the trigger lineups is the four crits and our starter. And now into our G zone, uh we have the two stunburst of course. Uh one premium collection 2019 or I forget which one I forget whether stunburst was in 2019 or 2020 but the other one that we got that has the Thunderstrike X. Then he gets like crit if he if you hit like certain amount. So there's that. He is a pretty decent uh finisher in of itself, but uh most of the time if I really needed to finish someone off, it's probably the one of the Vanquishers. Because the Vanquishers have better scaling in a sense. Uh fun fact, when you stride into um any stride, uh for if you are on Basagra as your heart, your Arms will stay connected, so you do still have the benefits because your name technically has the Basagra name because that's how strikes work. So yeah, gives you a lot of, uh, gives you a little beefier center line, which is great because we are running the DE over trigger most likely. Uh, I'm still debating on that, uh, because two times one million is sort of better than a restanding Vanguard of one million, uh, depending on the context. So that one is something to consider another time. Uh. We also, we have our 6 usual G guards, our 2 impedes, 2 of the Thunderstrike 4 that can uh, do a denial griffin at the end of battle or something, which is kind of okay uh, when you want to try and control some restanding units that restand at end of battle, so yeah. I don't know whether you actually can proc if they restand at end of battle, but the case in point is that you have removal on your opponent's turn and you bind more cards so that your cards on your turn get you uh, a little bit further than you normally do without them, so yeah. The more important removal here is the impede, although we can only ever resolve two impedes. I think most of the time, uh, two impedes is enough to dismantle a board uh, in terms of multi-attack. If they are not a multi-attack deck, then it just makes it much more easier, it means we just deal with less attacks. So yeah, that is the deck profile. Very quick and uh, short, I hope this is very short. You guys like you know me talking about the decks I built on Fridays. Uh, do let me know in the comment section below. Do hit that like and subscribe button and ring a ding that bell so you can get the latest notifications whenever I'm gonna make videos like this again or whenever I'm gonna stream. Uh, you can also follow us on our uh, socials like our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We also have our Discord server. Everything is in the description below, where you know me and me and the others will be there on every night actually or every day. We'll be talking about you know Vanguard and all the other games we play under the sun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile and I'll see you again soon. Ciao!